hand clap. Be back in the house of the Lord, amen. <coughs> Remember Brother George tonight, amen. He's got uh, yeah, some stomach, stomach problems, so. I'm going to play him tonight, brother. Amen. He'll be up here with us, amen. Praise the Lord, so. Remember him. Anybody got a song tonight? The kids want to sing, Derek. What do y'all want to say? They got a song? Hello? What do y'all want to say? Oh, Mama, can we sing a song? Yeah. Amen. Amen.
Number one on, on this next one. <clears throat>
started going to church, and so I was probably, I don't know, about 14 when I started learning about the Lord real good, and um, she had a drug problem, and that was she drug me to church. <laughs> I like to say that. But uh, I knew about God, you know, and then, uh, of course, when I got old enough, I rejected the Lord and moved on, and and uh, yeah, I did, and I went completely the opposite way, and it took me a long time to realize that God kept His hand over me all those years. You know, I wasn't far from I was I was far from the Lord, but His word was always in my heart because the Bible says that to teach your you know teach your children and train them in the way and in, in the word, and that they'll come back to. And I just messed that all up, but y'all get the point. And uh, it was oh, it, the word was always in me. It's just that I knew I was doing wrong. You said it says earlier when we know to do right, we do wrong. It was sin, so I was sinning. So when the Lord finally kept calling on my heart, you know, and He brought me to Him, and that's what it was. He brought me to Him. You know, I didn't find God. He found me, praise God. He, he knew where I was all along. I was never lost in His eyes, but I was completely lost in my own eyes. And I will always be forever grateful and forever 
uh, hungry for that grace of God because without the grace of God, I would have, uh, you know, been through so many accidents. I should have been dead by now. Or how about the time when I was at a party and I had a gun pulled out on my head? You know, I mean, I'm serious. There's some awful situations that I got myself into and uh, didn't know it then because I was big and bad and I had control of my own life. But when I laid my life down and gave it to Jesus Christ, you know, He's the one that covered me with that grace. We sang about the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I can fight back with the blood of Jesus now, and I'm so thankful. That's our armor, y'all. The Holy Ghost is our power and authority, but the blood of Jesus is our armor just as well. So throw it out there. You know, I plead the blood. You plead the blood. I learned right. I tell you, my mama raised me right in that aspect. But I'm so thankful because uh, it truly is amazing grace, and I'm glad that that veil was um, lifted from my eyes and I can now see how good God is. You know, the Bible says to taste and see how gracious the Lord is. And if you haven't tasted and seen how good God is, what are you waiting for? I want to ask you, what are you waiting for? You know, don't, don't wait to straighten things up because you won't. There's nothing that you can do to straighten your own life up. There's nothing that you can do to make things right before you come. Straighten up, look right, dress right. Dress right. None of that. Just come as you are because God sees you exactly how you are and what shape you're in. And he says, I want that one. And everybody else is like, which one? That messed up one? That dirty one? That one that don't look right? The one that don't have money to buy new clothes? Awful shoes? This and that and other? Yeah, I want that one. Praise God. You know, God says in his word that he cho chooses the foolish things to confound the wise. How many are foolish in the house of God tonight? Amen. I'm foolish. That's all right. I'm proud of it. I'm the base things of the world, the scripture says. I'm base. I'm as low as they get. But see, God sees me and he picks me up. And in his eyes, the Bible says, and I'm the apple of his eye. Amen. So I wake up with that thought every day and I try to go to bed with it every night that God sees me special. As messed up as I was, he cleaned me up and he got me right and I'm doing the best I can. Sis had it right. I'm striving. That's all. You know, you might see me all pretty up looking good in this little outfit I got on. But inside, you know, there's still stuff. There's still baggage, but I know where to bring it to now. And I don't have to carry it anymore. So let's praise God for His amazing grace.
everybody around you, and they see your mistakes sometimes, amen. They do, we do. We're just people, we're human, don't we? Yeah. We see each other's mistakes, sometimes we like to call each other out on Do you remember what you did to me last year on <laughs> December 15th, 2015, amen? Come on, somebody, I'm serious. We like to point some things out, especially when you get in a fight. Ooh, that's good. When you're in the middle of an argument, amen, and you start arguing with your spouse, and then all of a sudden you're like, yeah, that's all right. You remember what you did to me? Let's see. It was, uh, you know, back when we first got married 20 years ago. <laughs> but here's God. Guarantee she won't forget it. <laughs> here's God. I don't do that. He I looks don't. at you with his heart, amen. He sees what you can be made of. He sees, he sees you whole and complete. That's what I said this morning. Think about that a second. Oh, my gosh. God looks down from heaven and sees us whole and complete, praise God. He knows you're broken. He knows you have issues. He knows you got junk in the trunk. But praise God, He's ready to fix you and heal you and pick you up. Amen. That's the kind of God we serve right there. So He sees you with His heart, not His eyes. He's not trying to condemn you and push you back. He don't want you to go to hell. He wants you to come to Him. He's standing open-armed. Amen. Amen. Let's, uh, Brother George, we're going to have you come up and pray over you. Man. Man. Brother George, don't feel too well. You believe in God's healing power. You come up and lay hands on him. Pray with us. Amen. Over him. Amen. 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 Amen.
because of the lack of oxygen, there, he's looking at being a bed. Okay? But we're believing God for a miracle. Amen. Yes. Amen. Oh, so you God. believe with yes. us. Yes. Yes. Pulling the ventilator to Mark 12. Father God, we just lift up. God, we pray, God. I know God is not a reward. God, we're looking at the earth. 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 Uh, 